Hey everybody, it's me Tiffany with Virtual Office Advantage. I've been a virtual assistant for almost 20 years and the main question that I get asked is how do you keep everything so organized? I have a lot of digital files that I keep for my clients, for myself, for my business, and for my family. And I also have a lot of paperwork that I keep for my clients and my business and myself and for my family. So I thought a really easy way to introduce my organizational skills to you would be to set up a school binder for your children. And I'm going to walk you through step by step how I set up mine for this school year because yay, it's almost time for back to school. And it's going to show you how to corral that paperwork that you need to keep and also that needs to be sent back to school with your kids. But it's also a way to keep it um, in one place for the whole entire school year so you have an easy one-stop shop to go to for all of your um, login information, your school calendar, any of those types of things that you want to keep for your kids. Okay, so let's make our binder. So what you'll need to gather is a binder of your choice, some clear page protectors, some probably three hole punched folders of whatever you're choosing to hold all the miscellaneous papers and so forth. You can make this as you know, as crafty as you want it to be or as plain as you want it to be. Mine is pretty plain. I just, I put a picture in the front and on the side in the actual binding of my binder, I just put the school year because really this is all you're going to see and I keep it pretty handy all year long. So I start by collecting all of the papers that we're going to need. It's not just necessarily forms and things that you're going to need to return. It's also um, class schedules it's the yearly schedule. It's all of the login information that you need if maybe you set up a portal on your kid's website, the school's website for your child, um, that will show you know their grades, assignments that are due, maybe tuition payments, payments for different things that are coming up, if you have a deadline that's happening, that sort of thing. So I usually start by putting all of the papers together and then I sort them out per child. So each child has their own section. This is, I have two children and they each go to different schools. So they each have different requirements. So I have a high schooler, which I've already put together here. This is going to be um, her sports schedule. This is going to be um, when tuition payments are due. This is going to be the login information for the portal so I can go in and check out her grades and any assignments that are due. Those I put into the page protectors. Into the folder, I put the, the sheets that are going to be due only at the beginning of the school year. So for her, that's a couple of different sheets that she needs to sign and that I need to sign in addition to her um, picture orders that are going to be due. So in addition to that, then I also have a grade schooler. And for him, it's a little easier. So it's basically in the page protectors, I have the uniform code just so that I can remember and his school supply because we're not quite finished getting school supplies. Um, and then also, I always take a copy of what volunteer opportunities that I've done just because I want to be able to remember that that's what I volunteered for <laughs> or what maybe different things are coming up that, hey, maybe I might be interested in that. In his folder, I've put together um, a checklist, a quick checklist of things that need to go back for him in addition to the money that he is going to owe for a plan or um, that they require. And in the front, I put in one of the page protectors, the actual school year calendar, so that um, we remember what's happening in each of the months. Even though I have it written in my calendar and we get email notifications, I like to see it just as a, at a glance. In the front pockets, I usually keep just miscellaneous things that I know I'm going to reference, but they aren't really pertaining to kids. So maybe it's a schedule that I need to keep for a volunteer thing that I've signed up for. Um, in this instance, my husband's class reunion is coming up. So all the information I get for his class reunion is going to go here in the front. Um, in addition to some decals that we have, we can use on our windows. And then in the back, I'm going to put um, my high schoolers course description book as I know that we're going to reference that probably throughout the year and then when she is going to sign up for more classes. So when you're setting up your binder, 
this is just going to be a quick reference thing. It's going to be something that you can reference the whole way through the year. It's going to be something that um, you can go back to and say, oh yeah, this is my one spot where, where did I keep that password? Or where is the schedule? Even though you've probably put your schedule into your phone, onto your paper calendar, whatever you happen to use, um, this is one place to keep everything together. And if you start now as school is beginning, then as you get more and more papers, it's just easier to corral, put all of their lunch menus in, put everything in there that you need to know that um, when they go to school, here's their information. Hope this helped.